Today we celebrate the closure of the Monarchist Club. Let them lie down and sleep the floor. Soon there will be no rock in Paris under which they can hide. So? So? Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. Hey, how's it going? Chrome and Chris here. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Unity. How well this is going to go with the assassins. Bloody Templars. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? <laughs> what the hell you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de Lasserre's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de Lasserre. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse! This is a trick! To make us lower our guard! I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek! Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lesser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. Hmm. Don't think that went very well, but the main guy seems to want to help. That went about as Only well to as help himself. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think we find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. Francois Germain believed Lafreniere was... Francois Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on the Rue Saint-Antoine. Why? What the... Oh. Elise? <laughs> Slow down! Hey now! Oh, par le ciel, je vous en conjure. Where are you going? To find Germain. Obviously. <laughs> Oh, damn. What are you doing? Elise! 
Nice. Damn, there's no way through. Ugh. Thought it was being smart by going down there. Wait for me. Uh, <laughs> that hurt my eyes. Let's not lose the target again, please. No. Slow down. There we go. Whew. What was that about? Honor. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Did I not say he had the eyes? Empty. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. Uh. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. Right, yeah, perhaps it's it is sage. the same Germain. Is this not it? Looks like no one's home. Elise. Don't tell me. It's a trap. Well, it's a trap. Look who it is. Kill those. You bloody lies don't deserve anything but a blade to the guts. Oh, well, okay. I didn't realize I was using... What do you think? Where's my sword? Uh -huh. Can I change my sword mid-fight? No. Of course I can't. Yeah, okay. Hopefully I can. I'm gonna die. Clever having a rifle. I thought it was replacing the uh, was pistol, bracing. not the sword. Like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Maybe there's a secret room. Locked. Maybe we could do that. She didn't even put much uh, effort into that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau. As soon as. I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Please, please let me change. Uh, not boosts. I don't want boosts. Damn! Stay down! Do you see them? The windows! How do I shoot? The street. Um, why is he not reloading?
Come on. Place my pistol Do you copy? and my sword. You found him, Francois Thomas Germain, Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with our no. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop out. Hopefully I can lose these people and I can change them. Bloody weapon. Right, I had bought myself a nice new sword, this snake hilted sword. And I've upgraded it, so hopefully it will be a bunch better. Actually, are we using the new uh, pistol that we got. Oh, weapons. I think we are. I think that's it. What is that? Some of these pistols are a bit excessive, I think. Let's uh, stick an upgrade on there. We don't use it often, but... Uh, Help us out at least. Fast travel over to that area. Well, at least fast travel to the cafe theater, pick up the money, and then we shall move on to the story. Beautiful weather today, don't you think? Indeed, yeah, sure. Yay, 136 francs. Why is that all we can get? <laughs> we have to go upstairs. found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. Maybe she did do it. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? 
painting a picture. Mm-hmm. So there's three things in this room. This book. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kema. And is there anything in this bureau? What about where she is? You saw no one else when you arrived. Just the butler. He let me in, but he never came upstairs. But he was here before you. Did you see any other servants? No. No one else. It says I can examine the door. Doesn't look like it was forced. So the killer was expected? A guest, perhaps? Or a servant? Well, we already know that he was expected. All right, let's go speak to that butler. Yes, sir. Have you been here all day? No, sir. I arrived at four to see to this week's delivery of wine. Anyone else arrived since then? Only the young lady with the red hair, sir. She went straight away to the master's study. And you haven't been upstairs? The weekly wine delivery is quite extensive, sir. I see. Thank you for your time. Pick up this. This is mine now. What's that guy doing? Stay close. I might have more questions for you. Of course, sir. Okay. You saw no one else when you arrived. Just the butler. He let me in, but I he already heard upstairs. that. But he was here before you. Did you see any other servants? Oh. No. No one else. Come on, there we go. A handkerchief. A lady's handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. Right. Let's have a look at this. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. You can have a drink. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Right. And then speak to. Is that say cues? <laughs> What? What's all the way over there? Oh, right, okay. So I could accuse Elise. Or just go straight to Kema. I think I go straight to Kema. I don't want to risk accusing her. Because I have a feeling that... It it's not her. No matter how much it looks like it's her. Right, now, is there a route down uh, from up here? Is it in here?
Come with me. What cheer? The Brotherhood needs you. Uh, no, I don't want to join you. you. Sorry, buddy. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. It Very was one well. of the assassins. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course, but I do know of an apothecary in Lamare who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. Okay. Is that how I now speak to? Fifty apothecary that specializes in backroom deals. Does that say accuse? Oh my god, I can accuse everyone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get all the facts before we start accusing people. Where is this apothecary? Arno, what cheer? Obviously, Mirabeau was uh, trying to back up Elise, saying to give her a chance. So, yeah, I definitely don't think it was Elise. I have a feeling it's the guy that we broke out of prison with. Let's go all the way over there. Ah. Okay, we gotta run. Such a long way away. Bonsoir. Oh, at least he's come with me. Because of Elise? Or is this because of an assassin? to be going the wrong way. Right, here's the lift I'm using. Oh, 
won't he slow down now that he thinks that uh, he's not being followed? Oh, come on. Hello, sirs. Pardon me, sirs. Just as I said. You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah, I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? Indeed. Let's, uh... Let's get on it. If we have to. Don't even know where we're going. Ah, oh, okay. Um, instead of doing that, it's not as urgent as, uh... As you think. I am the Chevalier Deon. We'll do this in Master instead. swordsman, diplomat, and sometimes spy. Do not be confused by my attire. I simply prefer to clothe myself in female garb. It is a little confusing. You are an assassin. I'm hoping you can help me, but first, I'd like to ensure that you're the man for the job. There are several swordsmen who will test your acumen. Challenge each of them and draw first blood. And watch you don't step on my dress. <laughs> All right. Let's do a little bit of this. But of course, my friend, duel it is. I'll serve as a second to both of you. Yeah, <laughs> It says kill. I thought it was only to draw first blood. Stop a hit. Well fought. You are the victor. That's we have two a hits. champion. Okay. Oh my. A duelist, are we? How amusing. This man will judge the hits. I have an appointment presently, but this shan't take much time. Under it, mm -hmm. die! Enough! Leave That's me like alone! Three, four hits Come now. Back, coward. <laughs> uh, where's the route through? Excuse me, excuse me. Come through. Duel you? Preposterous. Oh, very well. I will oversee the contest. He who draws first blood wins. I could use a bit of practice. This is my patriotic duty! <laughs> 
Oi. Alright then. I'll get you right in. That was easy. Alright, well we've got two more. Uh, I'm actually going to end it off right here. So thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.